なんだ、怪我人はなしか。つまんないね。知性の安全のため、この爆弾を速やかに発見、除去していただきたく。操作対象は二つ。チェ Identity V and Bongo Stray Dogs crossover must be one of the most disappointing crossovers in the history of the game. It is not because the crossover is bad, but because two of five crossover skins got cancelled, which are Akiko Yosano as the doctor and Dopo Kunikita as the novelist. The reason behind this cancellation was because of Chinese censorship, which does not allow the aforementioned two skins. Among the two, Akiko Yosano was the most anticipated, and many fans are disappointed with the cancellation of it. But the question is who is Akiko Yosano? And why is she banned from the game? What did she actually do? Gentlemen, meet Akiko Yosano, one of the most famous and controversial poets in the history of Japan. Born in 1878, Akiko Yosano was actually a pen name a Japanese author, poet, pioneering feminist, pacifist, and social reformer. Her name at birth was Shoho. She was born into a prosperous merchant family in Sakai, near Osaka. Ever since her childhood, she was fond of reading literary works and read widely in her father's extensive library. This continued as she became a high school student. She began to subscribe to a certain poetry magazine and eventually became a prominent contributor. She later married the magazine's editor, Tekken Yosano. Now, Japan at that time value women as, and are expected to be, gentle and modest. The domestic and societal roles of Japanese women were and are focused on procreation and raising children, especially boys. However, this was on the contrary to Yosano's poems, as they created a new, revolutionary image of womanhood, as lively, free, sexual, and assertive people. That's why her works were mostly denounced by critics. But thanks to that, it became a sort of lighthouse for free thinkers at the time. Now, some of you may wonder what it has to do with banning the skin in the Identity V and Bungo Stray Dogs crossover. Well, during the 1930s, Japan tried to expand its territory and sphere of influence by seizing Manchuria. The once pacifist Akiko Yosano then showed her support for her country. She wrote several poems that emphasize her support for war against China. One of her most famous poems about this is Rosy Cheek Death. In this poem, she showed that the Chinese were foolish to resist Japan because Japan is a good neighbor whom they could never hope to defeat, making their resistance futile. She continued on to make poems supporting war. First was against China, then, eventually, against the United States and the United Kingdom. Even in one of her last poems, Yosano praised her son who was serving as a lieutenant in the Imperial Navy, urging him to fight bravely for the Emperor in this sacred war. Yosano died of a stroke in 1942 at the age of 63. Her death, occurring in the middle of the Pacific War, went almost unnoticed in the press, and after the end of the war, her works were largely forgotten by critics and the public. However, her romantic, sensual style has come back into popularity in recent years, and she has an ever increasing following. From the explanation before, it is clear why Akiko Yosano becomes a cancelled skin in Identity V. The company that owns Identity V, Netties, is from China. The Chinese government values history so much. So, what happened next is, when Netties is ready to launch the crossover, the Chinese government disapproves it because of the appearance of Akiko Yosano and Dopo Kunikita. Those two characters need to be censored, and after those two are removed, the Bungo Stray Dogs crossover is approved, and we can enjoy it as it is right now. Still, this caused enrages among fans, especially those who actually waited for Akiko Yosano skin. Even if Netties gave free Ranpo Etagawa skin for compensation, many fans out there think that Netties should have done a background check before launching a crossover. After all, Yosano's design is pretty neat and she is rather cute. 
It is not the first time the Japanese crossover got cancelled. Before this, the Junji Ito crossover also had the same experience, as a character didn't pass through the censorship. So that's pretty much what happened. Please correct me if there is any wrong information about this. See you in the next video. Bye bye.